Hey guys, it's Hunter. Welcome back to another video. Now, PRSSE has been fun to follow. They've been killing it in recent years. And a big reason for that is the SE line is no longer the same collection of student edition models they were when it first launched. PRS has been taking aspects and inspiration from their elite premium core and private stock lines and making them available to the masses through the SE line. Case in point, this SE Custom 2408. This used to be a private stock only configuration, but for 2021, PRS has not only updated all the SE Custom 24s, but also made a version of the 2408 a lot more of us can afford. And it is fantastic. Let's take a closer look. All right, it looks really cool. Let's hear what it sounds like. For convenience sake, I'm running this through the Neural DSP SLO 100 plugin. That way we can also hear what it sounds like when it's not running through like a $4,000 amp or whatever. And it sounds a little something like this. <laughs> Holy crap. And you've also got all these switches so you can like split the neck. <laughs> That's really cool. Yo, this is like the best SE I've ever played though. Like the fingerboard edges are so well rounded. And I'm loving this new violin carve as well. Like when you rest your arm here, it just feels really natural. Like compared to other SE customs I've played in the past, like they were good. This feels really premium though. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know it's something like this, especially with like all the coil split options, like you know, there's a lot you can do with this. Like, there's so much versatility on tap. I first remember hearing about PRS through the new metal scene. So anytime I pick up a PRS custom, I gotta hammer out some seven dust or some biscuit. <laughs> I enjoy some Limp biscuit sometimes. <laughs> Come at me. The color scheme is really cool too. I like this uh, naked colored headstock. Natural colored headstock. And the green top too. And then you got like the naked back. Natural back. What is wrong with me? Super cool, it sounds so nice with the splits. These round fingerboard edges, this new carve, so good. All right, so I think it's time to jump into a full demo track, see how it performs in a full produced mix. Let's do that and then I'll meet you back here for some final thoughts.
So, just a few final thoughts. Every SE I've had the privilege of trying so far has been a great player. With this guitar, that 25 inch scale length is perfect for standard tuning or you can drop it a bit further. The SE tremolos have solid stability and with the brushed metal saddles, feel so comfortable. <laughs> Those are all things we've seen before. This custom 2408 is next level. Now, the first thing I noticed when I started playing it is it's a really light, well-balanced instrument. You know, studio tracking, you can have this thing on your lap for hours. Live, it's not gonna break your back at all. Tuning stability was very good with this guitar as well, pleased to report there were absolutely no issues in that regard. In general, I love the SE necks, both the wide fat and wide thin shapes are great. The wide thin on this is obviously the better feeling one, and something I've noticed on SEs this year is that the fingerboards are really well rounded on the edges compared to what they were previously. And that sounds like a really boring detail. You don't see it on the stock photos, but in terms of playability and comfort, it is a massively substantial upgrade. It gives this guitar a really premium feel to match the premium looks. Speaking of which, I am loving everything about the color selection here. The SE Ariza Verde looks incredible, like even better in real life than it does in camera. And while it doesn't have a full flame maple cap or anything like that, that would obviously increase the price a lot, import factories have gotten so good at getting depth and character out of high quality veneers. The two-tone color scheme, SE bird inlays combined to give this 2408 that renowned PRS class. Love what they're doing now with the unstained maple SE headstocks. I don't know, is it just me? I think they look really cool. There's something about transparent finishes where you can see all the wood, you know, like the mahogany body, the maple cap, three-piece maple neck, everything is so awesome. Even the amber knobs and cream zebra open coil pickups, usually I don't like those at all. But on an Ariza Verde top, amazing. The new shallow violin carve is awesome, just feels natural and comfortable to rest your arm on, which in turn makes the guitar feel high end. Premium feeling options for guitarists on a budget? Yes, I'm all for that. Okay, so it looks amazing, feels amazing, I could go on forever about that. And already those are pretty good reasons to check out this year's SE line. go for this particular model is that ability to swap between eight different tone configurations with pickups. Aesthetically, the control layout looks a bit janky in my opinion. Like the mini toggles kind of look like an afterthought, like a DIY style mod, which I find to be particularly jarring on a PRS because the rest of the guitar is so classy. Felt the same way about the Paul's guitar too. That also has the mini toggles and TCI S pickups. Like you could achieve the same result using push pulls for both the volume and the tone. So the volume would split the neck and the tone would split the bridge or vice versa, however you want to configure it. And that would make for a cleaner look. But functionality wise, this solution is just better. You can kind of preset your splits. So for example, I love the full bridge humbucker paired with single coil sounds in the neck. I can set that with the mini toggles and then quickly get to my favorite sounds with the three-way switch. And then it's easy to adjust the mini toggles to switch up the configuration if for some reason the split bridge or full neck humbucker are required. <laughs> Yeah. 
So a ton of versatility, and the guitar will work with you for whatever you need it to do. And right there, that's the theme with this guitar. It'll just work with you. At no point did I feel like I was fighting with this. It stayed in tune, it felt great to play, it produced the sounds I was going for. I did get distracted looking at it a couple times, but other than that, I mean, it was so easy to pick the SE Custom 2408 up and just get to work. Since I've started the channel and started paying more attention to the SEs, they have just been getting better and better every year. In 2021, the SE Customs have definitely leveled up. So if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and hit the like button. Of course, just my opinions. I would love to know what you're thinking in the comments. Massive thanks to PRS for sending this guitar out for us to check out together. Luke Kramer did an amazing job with the demo track as always. Signal Chain, social media, and Discord server links are in the description. As always, thank you so much for watching. You've been awesome, and I'll see you for the next video.